Suffolk County Community College students can use the following login instructions to get into their MySCCC student portal. Within the portal, you will have access to your class schedule, your scene report, your final grades. When you are ready to register, you will see class availability and registration links. You have a free email account with Suffolk County Community College, which you can get to through your student portal. If you are taking online classes, that will be shown in your portal as well. And you can drop and add classes in this area also, as well as some other things. Note that the portal is open 24-7 with occasional outages for updates and maintenance. Let's get started. If you go to the home page of the college, which is www.sunysuffolk.edu, you will see the following page. Click on the My SCC Lighthouse icon in the upper right of the home page. Then you will see this screen. For first time users, you're going to click on Click Here under the New Students between the two boxes on the left. So let's click here. You'll type in your SCCC student ID number in the student ID box here. And then you're going to type in your eight digit birth date separated by slashes as seen in the example. So type those two things in and click Continue. You're given a username by the college, and if you look at it, it is the first four letters of your last name, followed by your first initial, and then the last two digits of your student ID number. You'll need to write this down. Then you're going to create a password. You use the password rules here on the right-hand side of your screen to create your password. So as long as you adhere to these rules, you'll be fine. You can go through a step-by-step -step process as seen in this box down here as well. Then write that password down. And just as a reminder, don't give out your password to anybody. There are some exceptions to this user uh, name template, but your professor will tell you more about that. When you're done with this, click Continue. Then you will see this step and just click Continue to the next step. Okay, to verify if you ever need to recreate your password, you're going to answer two of the four questions. I suggest you use the first two questions as shown here. So you'll click in the box here and then click in the box here and then you will answer those two questions and then click Continue. You'll just see the confirmation of what you had put in for your favorite color and your favorite sport. Then click Continue. And then you're going to proceed to the My SCCC login page. So you're back to where we originally started when we didn't have a username and a password. We clicked here, but now you have a username and a password. So you'll go ahead and type that username in. Then type in your password and do remember that it is case sensitive and when you've entered that information, click login. This is now your My SCCC student portal. We're just going to go through some of the tabs here that you see at the, at the top. My home, my courses, my financial aid and so forth. So let's take them one at a time. So on the My home tab, you'll notice the announcements that will come up. And then over here in the right, you will notice some other quick links. Let's continue. Uh, on that My Home tab, if you come over to the right, you will see the Wireless Access Network Registration link. And if you click there, you will be able to register your laptop or your phone to get wireless connectivity on each of the three campuses. You'll fill out that network registration link form and then you submit that request. Let's continue. So that was the My Home tab. Now let's take a look at the My Courses tab. If you click on the My Courses tab, you will then see this box here. Your SANE report, which is your student advisement information notice, is what you will use to create um, a schedule for next semester. So you go through that to see what you have already taken and what you still need to take for your degree. If you want to, you may watch a video interpreting your scene, and you can click on that link there if you would like to within the portal. The third tab over is the financial aid tab, and if you click here, you will then see this screen appear. You will see the following page there, and if you're receiving a loan, you must accept the loan here. Accept my loan if you're cont um, getting that information. The fourth tab is My Account, and in My Account, you're able to pay your bill. 
So note that you need to pay your bill and confirm your attendance. You don't want to lose your classes after you register, so you must do this. Let's continue. The My Email tab will allow you to use your free email account that you have as a student as, at Suffolk County Community College. The email account is the official means of communication from the college. So let's activate your account so you're able to use it. Click on Activate My Account, and then you will see the following. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen here and click Activate My Account. When you do that, you're going to click, you're going to write down first your activation password, which is a six digit number, and I believe it looks like your birth date if you look at it closely. You're going to click on this Office Outlook web image, and when you do so, you'll get this page. Enter your birth year, select from the drop down menu your country. So you're going to select the United States and then click on I accept. Then you will see this box. Leave English as the language, and all you have to do is change your current time zone to Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. So look for that and click on OK, and then this next window will appear, and this is your email account. Note what your email is. It is your username at mail.sunysuffolk.edu, and that's very important. When you're done using your mail, you will click on Log Off to close up that window, and then you'll be back at the portal. Let's continue. If you go to the calendar of events, you will see what's going on at Suffolk County Community College, as seen here. If you're taking any online classes, or your professor has uh, supplementary material that they would like you to view, it might be in this online D2L area. So if you click on the tab there for online D2L, Distance to Learn, you will open up this virtual campus box and you can find the classes that you are in. They will be populated there. If you have any questions, please um, go to your local computer centers and they will ask, answer any questions that you may have.